Hey, Big Mo. Today, I'm gonna give you just a tip and you're gonna like it. What I'm gonna share with you today, yeah, it's a low cost, low tech idea, but hell, it's worked for me for 20 something years. And I know some of you have a problem with uh, brakes loosening on the mowers and stuff and them rolling all around the trailers. What I've always done is I would take some scrap two by fours, as you see there, and uh, pull the mower up on there. And then I take those scrap two by fours and I put it one in front and one in back of the wheel, screw them down. I just have one over here because the uh, three foot goes up on there and it butts up against the thing over there. So I only have to have one in the back. But uh, hey, it's always worked for me. And they don't budge. They stay right put where I want them to stay. And the only problem I've ever had over the years is uh, when I had one trailer, uh, when I'd mulch, I'd have the, the tarp laying down with the mulch on top of it. And when you go to shovel on it off, the shovel would uh, hit these two by fours underneath the tarp and it was a little annoying. But uh, hell, you could always just, uh, you know, unscrew them, take a couple of screws out, take them up if you had to do that. Or now I have another trailer I just use for that. So, but I tell you, it's, I know it's uh, kind of uh, jerry rig, but hey, you know, it has worked for me like I said, for 20 something years. And they stay where I want them to stay. And that was Big Mo's Just the Tip. Let's see what time it is. A hair past a freckle, Eastern Elbow time. Looks like it's about time for you know who, Mick. And he's gonna give you the whole shaft. Ah oh, shit, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> What's up my bitch? How's that hanging, super freak? I'm pretty good, how are you? Doing good. I notice you have teeth now. They're looking pretty good there. They're feeling pretty good too. I'm telling you, man, you were more than just a little fucked up looking. I mean, that shit had to take it forever to get fixed. It took a while, but it took a good job to get it done too, so. Sounds painful. Uh, It was painful the first couple weeks, but Ooh after I got them fixed the right way, they were perfect. I could tell you now, the worst pain that I ever felt personally was when Mama Sumo tried to ride me reverse cowgirl style. It was excruciating. Uh, was that the worst pain you've ever felt with the teeth? I don't know, I got 51 tattoos and I think my teeth were the, actually the worst part of it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, have you ever had Mama Sumo come crashing down on your ball sack? Anyway, uh, would you consider having uh, bathing in green and blazing in tattoo across your anus? I mean, would you? Huh? Huh? Would no, you? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> too bad. That'd be great advertisement. Well, let me ask you this. Was it your stupid, dumbass idea to go shirtless during the Tiger King show? No, that was actually kind of the director's idea. Oh, I see. It, it was kind of the sex appeal type thing. Sex appeal? Oh, come on. Let's face it. You're no Mick, baby. No, no Mick. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Uh, uh -uh. You know, most of it, it's just me. He made everybody relate to me. And uh, with the crying of the whole fan aspect, I mean, I've had a lot of more po positive out of it than I have negative. And I think a lot of people can relate to what was going on. Where do I begin? I didn't understand a damn word you just said. It sounded like a bunch of gibberish from a monkey. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Sorry about that. Uh, I can say that all you people that worked at the zoo for Joe uh, came across as real genuine people with genuine uh, problems and issues. Yeah, I mean, 
a lot of people have criminal backgrounds or they have abusive backgrounds or just a whole genre of different backgrounds, but we all could relate in some way or another. Well, it sounds like you had a pack of damn lawn stars <laughs> working with you. Uh, Cause you know, we all know they're a bunch of meth heads, but uh, how long did you actually work there with Joe? Before uh, I started June of 2003 my last time there was like 2017 2018 you had a long haul then yeah i had a 16 year run i have a question for you about the animals in the zoo you know i know the tigers lions tigers and bears oh my uh they're really scary and dangerous but uh i have a little experience uh with animals uh growing up when I was a young lad in Serbia, we had a pet monkey named Buster, and he was a rotten little bastard. Uh, that little son of a bitch would come uh, bouncing like a pinball off the walls, and he would climb up your leg, and he would whip you across the face with his enormously long cock. And uh, I was wondering if you had any such experiences or if you would uh if you would had to be careful around those damn monkeys you got to be very cautious i mean it's you have a lot more to worry about than with say a tiger or a bear because of their long schlongs oh uh, yeah it comes around half their body and it, it pack a wallop well i tell you it's been real it's been fun it's been real fun and it was good to see you buddy thanks for coming on here okay man thank you This has been a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.